Okay, so what I thought I would do, um, because so often people um, think when they think of salads, they think of something fairly horrible, you know, just kind of stringy lettuce with a little bit of carrot and things like that. Um, and actually it can make a really, really beautiful whole meal salad. Um, and I'm gonna show you my trick uh, for doing it. Very, very simple um, and very easy to do, I hope. Um, so I'm gonna try and show you uh, how to make a salad really interesting and uh, delicious and very filling. Uh, part of it comes down to how you chop it. So um, here we go. We'll see how we do. To me, the key ingredients are avocados and uh, apples. I particularly love the two kind of having something that is uh, soft uh, and uh, kind of fatty along with something that is sweet and crunchy. Some people don't like having the sweetness um, in their salads, but um, definitely give it a go and see if you like it. Um, I think you're gonna love it. Um, if not, you know, use a, use a carrot or use something else. But um, the main thing when it comes to things like apples and carrots is that a lot of people will chop them too finely. And I actually chop them so that they're quite thick and quite coarse. Um, and it actually gives a real crunch to the salad. And that I think is one thing that people really miss when they're, when they're wanting to, to have a meal that feels satisfying. They like having the crunch. So when you cut them too thin, or if you use a, use a device, uh, then you just don't get that crunch and everything just feels a little bit too watery when you're eating it. So that's why I always do it um, this way which really does make it much more delicious. So, and in this case, I'm gonna probably add a carrot as well, and I'm gonna do it exactly the same way, just quite thick pieces. Now, some people may not be able to do this so they just have to do it a little bit slower um, but the more you do it I was never trained um, on how to do this I just kept practicing um, and then eventually it comes and I tell you if you make a salad a day um, it'll come very 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 quickly to you so this is just a red onion just a little bit um, is really really nice uh, again if you don't like onions then you just leave it out this one I will chop much finer see there and I'm also just going to add uh, a little bit of microgreens just very very lovely uh, I just buy these um, just adding some beautiful flavor as well um, in this case I am going to have add a piece of garlic and garlic the pain with garlic is always the ability to take the skin off I find this one is sometimes really helpful, little device, sometimes it works. If the, if the garlic is too wet, then it doesn't come off properly, unfortunately, which is the case in this one. That's easy enough to, to take off. So, um, this is my kitchen. So this is not really for show uh, in any stretch of the imagination. Um, this is actually going to be my lunch. So uh, I <laughs> unlike a lot of kind of TV stuff, you're never quite sure whether or not something tastes good or whether or not it just looks good. Um, I am going to be eating this. Uh, so I am making sure that it does taste delicious. So with the garlic, you do want to chop it very, very thin. And I personally love garlic. Some people don't like garlic breath, things like that. But uh, to be honest with you, I think it's fabulous. Even garlic breath is lovely. Okay, now what next? Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of red cabbage in. Um, very kind of optional. The thing that's really nice is that it becomes very, very colorful and very kind of exciting. And that does actually make a difference. You know, the first taste of anything comes with the eyes much more than the tongue. 
So in this case, I will chop the cabbage quite thin because it brings out the flavor when you chop that thin. Whereas with the, um, with the carrots and the apple, they work best, in my opinion, when they are slightly chunkier. Okay, some fennel, giant, giant fennel. Let me put a little bit in. Um, again, quite fine because it has a strong aniseed taste and will give plenty of crunch as well, which is also really lovely. And then to kind of top it off, what I really like to use is I like to use dark greens. Uh, in this case, this is spinach. Um, you can use rocket. You can use um, lettuce. I just find lettuce in general um, doesn't have a great deal of flavor. It's a little bit watery. Um, that's why I tend to prefer the dark greens. Uh, and of course, very, very rich in nutrients, which is also lovely. And there, basically, you have it. Now, the only thing that I have pre-made um, in this case is I've just um, pre-cooked some chicken. And all that is is just um, butter and the chicken itself. I haven't added anything else to it. So I'm just going to put that on top. Um, it's particularly nice when it's just been cooked because it'll give some warmth as well. So it's, um, you're eating something that has, still has the kind of steam from the chicken coming off, which is really, really delicious. Now, uh, I'm just going to tidy this up a bit. Try to make it look nice for the camera. Um, so, one of the big things um, that happens with salads is that people try to really overdo the dressings. Um, they try to kind of hide what they think is going to be not very tasty by overdoing the dressings, um, by adding too much spices, too much this, that, and the other. So again, I'm gonna make it really, really simple. Um, and the reason why I do this is because it actually brings out the flavor in what you are preparing. Um, so the, the, the apple becomes much um, tastier. All of the vegetables just become more delicious by just keeping it very, very simple. So all we've got here is balsamic vinegar. Organic olive oil, by the way, everything here is organic. Um, uh, in this day and age, it, uh, it's crazy not to, unfortunately. I wish that wasn't the case, but it is. So I'm just gonna drizzle a decent amount of olive oil on top. Same thing with balsamic vinegar. And then The only other thing is salt and pepper, and that's it. That is absolutely it. Decent amount of salt. In this case, this is um, Himalayan. Um, you can use Celtic sea salt. Please don't use table salt. Um, do use something that's coming from nature because uh, that means it has other minerals in it. Um, yep. And then just some pepper on top. And then it's just a case of mixing it up. Now. <laughs> These are very, very fancy and I do really like them. But if you look at them, they basically just mirror your hands. So if you, if you don't mind doing it with your hands, I actually really like just to do that, just to get yourself, um, get, get everything mixed up. Um, but I'll show you these, it's doing exactly the same thing. And there you have it. That's, uh, that's a delicious salad and hopefully 
10 or 15 minutes. We'll see what the time actually was. Um, so yeah, really lovely, really simple, and it's really delicious. And I tell you, if you have one of these a day, um, particularly for lunch, it's incredibly satisfying. You just, as you eat it, you just feel nourished. Um, you don't find yourself craving other things after the meal. Um, you're getting a wonderful mixture of really uh, nutrient dense foods as well as good quality fats. Um, and uh, so yeah, I hope you give it a go and, and try it. The main thing is you don't have to stick so much to the ingredients that I'm using here. To me, the staples are avocados and I particularly like apple. Anything else that you pour on top is entirely up to you in terms of what feels, feels delicious. It's just often really good to chop them in a way to make them crunchy so that it really feels satisfying. Uh, and then a very, very simple dressing, just olive oil, balsamic vinegar, salt and pepper, and that is it. That's how simple it is, and I tell you. Um, I have one of these a day, and I have had for the last 25, 30 years, probably at this point. Um, so yeah, give it a go and see if you like it. All right, bye.